that this year's team is a lot different due to our mental game. We worked with the sports psychologists all throughout the fall, and I think that everybody kind of really bought into that plan, and it seemed to really help us. All of us individually took on Brian Kane, our sports psychologist, and his methods and ways of thinking, and we really applied them this year. I think it's Brian Kane. I mean, we all heard of everything before that he teaches us, but he gave us ways to apply it this year, and we've done a good job. I really think it helped with that a lot because we really buy into it, and we have stronger team mentality. I really think we have a tough team. Uh, we've come back from a lot of games whenever we were behind, and I really feel like this team is, is going to make it really far. Um, I would say I probably have two favorite moments right now. Hopefully they get beat. But the first one is whenever I threw my first no-hitter this year um, because it was seven innings and it was at home, so that was pretty cool. And the second one was whenever I beat the strikeout record for a game and I threw 17 strikeouts against Memphis. I would probably say going through our postseason run my freshman year and getting our conference rings and uh, winning conference champs that year and going postseason. It's freshman year, uh, our postseason run and winning regionals, that's just awesome. And then super regionals, we didn't win, but it was a lot of fun. Freshman year, when we won regionals, and uh, hitting a home run against the Marshalls when we tie up the ball game in the seventh inning, and it was really cool. Being that I'm from Louisiana, and we played LSU and beat LSU, uh, that probably would have to be my, my favorite moment so far. I chose Houston because it was close to home for me. I could have my family near me all the time and it really was a family oriented environment. This team has always been a family to me and I liked that I could have that here close to home in Houston. Um, when I decided to come here, I noticed there was a huge um, difference between here and other schools that I was looking at as far as just the camaraderie. The girls were actually, you know, real. They had real emotions, real feelings, and um, I knew I was coming into a program where I could work and my potential could, could be what it needs to be. Um, I wanted to play softball here, and it was close to home, and um, I just wanna, really want to be here. Well, actually, I didn't originally choose Houston, but um, after going away and kind of realizing maybe that I didn't have my priorities in line, I decided that Houston really was the best fit for me and so I decided to transfer here after my freshman year. Uh, I really wanted to get away from home a little bit, and I got a lot away from home, but then I really liked the family environment when I came here, and it just really sold me. Well, this one time, uh, all of us now seniors, when we were freshmen living at Cullen Oaks, were in the elevator. And there's like Braille on the side of the elevator, and I was like, can Angela read Braille? And I looked at her and said, I don't know, can she? I look at them like, I'm deaf, not blind. <laughs> I'm like, okay, my bad. Angela can't read Braille. Angela can't hear, but she can see. <laughs> um, believe in yourself, and when you feel like everybody else doesn't believe in you or your confidence is down, uh, continue working hard. Nobody can deny you. The cream will always rise to the top, and um, keep your head up. You'll make it. I would definitely say what doesn't kill you only makes you strong. That's kind of my motto that I lived by the past four years. And although at times you think that you're not going to make it, you definitely will make it. And it makes you a better person in the end. Um, I would have to say that you have to be confident in yourself at anywhere, any place. I would say run to roar. So anytime you know, you're in a tough spot and it's coming down on you, you just look back at it, punch it in the gut and say, you know why. Um, it's easy when things are going good, but when things start going bad, just weather the storm and make it through and you'll, you'll do great.